everyone, I'm JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make a picture frame photo display and you can customize these however you want and you can also hang anything that you want on them and I'm using mine to hang up some of my pictures. The supplies you'll need to make this are a photo frame and mine is 11 inches by 14 inches and you can use any size and any color photo frame that you want. This is the one that I will be making today and I could not find a white frame so I will be spray painting mine white and if you want to spray paint yours another color you can do the same. You will need any color yarn and I'm using white to match my frame and the size I'm using is bulky 5. For the background of my frame I'm going to be using a black poster board but you can use any color that you want and you can even use construction paper. You will need something to trace with and I'm going to be using a white colored pencil. You will need scissors and a ruler. And finally you will need a glue gun or a very strong glue. So please get your supplies and we'll begin. To begin please take apart your picture frame and take out the glass and the cardboard in the back. Please do not get rid of the back of your frame because we will be using this. Now I'm going to spray paint my frame white and if you are using a plastic frame please try to find a spray paint that bonds to plastic. I'm going to spray paint mine on a piece of cardboard outside and once it's dry we will begin making our photo display. I just finished spray painting my frame and now it is dry and you will now need the back of your frame and a piece of poster board. If you don't have poster board you can use any color of construction paper that you want. I'm using a black poster board to go with my white frame and now I'm going to take the back of my frame and I'm going to flip it over. I'm placing it so it's convenient for me to trace the two edges instead of all four. So I'm just going to make sure it is placed perfectly and I'm going to trace each edge. Now I'm going to take my scissors and cut this out. Now please make sure that your poster board fits inside of your frame. If yours does not fit perfectly, please take your scissors and trim the edges. Now please choose the side that you want to show through your frame. I'm just going to use this side. And you're going to take the back side of your frame and we are going to glue these two together. I'm just going to be gluing around the edges and I'm going to place it down carefully. I just finished gluing this side down and I'm going to move on and glue the other side down. Now we're going to put this aside and you will need your yarn. I'm going to now make my markings for where I need to glue my yarn down and I'm going to start in this corner here and I'm going to glue it an inch down from where my frame opens. So I'm just going to move this over and make my mark. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to mark it at an inch. I'm going back to this side and since I'm going to be making two rows, I'm going to make my next mark five and a half inches down from my last one. So I'm going to go down and mark it. Finally, I'm going to go back to my other side and from where I made my last mark, I'm going to go five and a half inches down and make my next one. Now we're going to be putting glue down where we made our marks and I'm going to start in this corner and I'm going to place glue all over this and I'm going to place my yarn down right on the line. I like to add more glue on top of this so that it is very secure. Now I'm going to let this dry. Now this is dry and I'm going to take my back and place it in. Now I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to pull this yarn so that it makes a straight line. You want to make sure that this yarn is pulled very tight here because you do not want the weight of your pictures pulling it down. So make sure it's tight and you're going to flip it back over. And I'm going to place glue on this line here. And I'm going to place this down into the glue. And I'm going to glue on top of this. Now please let this dry. Once this side is dry, you're going to cut off the excess yarn right to the edge. Now we can take out the back. So we are going to do the exact same thing. We're going to put some glue down on the line. And then you're going to take your yarn and place it down right on the line. 
After that, we're going to add on some glue. Please let this dry. Once it's dry, you can place in the back of your frame. We are going to flip over our frame, and now we're going to pull this tight. Try to make it as straight and tight as possible, and now we're going to turn our frame back over. Please place glue on your line, and now fold over your yarn into the glue. Next, you're going to add glue on top of this, and please let this dry. Now this is dry, and I'm going to cut off the excess yarn. I'm going to do the same for these two. Now we are going to need to secure the back in place so you can either just push down all of the tabs here or you can glue it all the way around and push it down and I'm going to do both. I'm just going to put glue in the corners and push my tabs down. I put glue in each corner and then I'm going to push it down I'm going to go around doing this. All of my corners are now glued down and I'm going to use the edge of my scissors to push all of my tabs down. Now they are pushed down and I'm going to flip it back over to the front. My picture frame photo display board is finished and I can start putting pictures on it. This is what it looks like when it's done and I can't wait to hang this in my room. I also wanted to show you that you can hang anything on them and this one even has Valentine's on it and Valentine's Day is almost here so I thought this would be a fun idea. And also you can put a bunch of these frames together on a foam board and make one large display board. I found my frames at the dollar store and I think these are very fun and easy to make and you can even give them as gifts to your friends and family. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you make some, I'd love to see them. My Instagram is craftlifeusa, so please tag me in a photo. And please don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!